Hey guys, okay, are you ready? You guys have probably been waiting for the first salad video. Every January, I gotta do like a salad, a healthy salad, something that can change up your diet a little bit, but make sure you're not acting like you were in the holidays, okay? Let's get you back to the vegetables, get you back to the, the cheeses and all the goodness and some bacon. Gotta have bacon. So we'll get to that in a minute. But first, I wanna welcome our sponsor, Dot Store. You guys have heard me talk about them a lot. Let me tell you why. Because I honestly believe if you're in business, your dot extension on your web name tells it all. So if like if you're into real estate, dot real estate. You're into shoes, dot shoes. I mean, whatever you're into, uh, you're a financial advisor, dot finance. Uh, I don't even know if that's an extension. I just made it up. But anyway, there are thousands of extensions. So when they approached me and said, hey, we know you have Amazon Jack and cookingwithjack.com, uh, amazonjack.com, we want you to have amazonjack.store so they know they can get your merchandise. Uh, they can get anything you review on the show. Or they wanted me to have cookingwithjack.store so that you could buy the shirts and the hats and the mugs and everything else, the pet hoodies and all that good stuff. So thanks Dot Store for being the sponsor. I appreciate you guys and I really believe in your product. There is a discount link down below. If you're interested, it's only gonna cost two bucks. As far as I know, that link is still good. I called, I mean the discount code is still good. I called them and to verify uh, right at the turn of the new year, they said, nope, still good. So use my discount code, use my link, for two bucks, what risk is that, huh? And then point it to your store, all right? I love you guys, come on in close. Let me show you what we're doing here, okay? Okay, there's no Ninja Foodie today, there's no barbecue today, there's no air fryer today, just a bunch of simple flavors that you have in your house right now. And if not, you can grab at the supermarket in two seconds and you mix it up into some delicious flavors, okay? Best thing about salads is as we approach spring, which is gonna be here before you know it, all right, you're gonna to wanna to make some salads. This one sounds good, let me tell you the ingredients. You got sour cream, and you got mayonnaise as the base, as kind of the dressing, okay? You got cauliflower and broccoli, love these both. I have always loved these two vegetables. You got bacon, I never have not liked bacon. You got shredded cheese, Oh my God, it sounds so good. And a little bit of salt and pepper. And I think that's it. How basic is that? Let's get it on. Okay guys, so the first thing that you wanna do is cook your bacon. I'm cooking the whole pound. It only asks for half a pound, but who can only cook half a pound, right? You gotta cook the whole thing. Throw it on a cookie sheet like this, put it in your oven, it cooks fast, it cooks beautiful, cook it crispy, however you like it, okay? So that's what you wanna do first get this started and get it going. Keep an eye on it because it does cook pretty quick, depending on what cut of bacon you're using. Thick cut, regular store-bought, hickory smoked, all that goodness. So the next thing we're gonna do while we're preheating our oven for the bacon is to start cleaning this, get this broken up. Basically, you wanna chop this and this into small kind of bite-sized pieces like that. All right, so let me get it chopped up, show you what it looks like, but uh, there's no reason for you to watch me clean all this stuff. Uh, rinse it all, and then get your knife out and start gently, don't destroy this. So break it up by the core, and then separate each piece. Take your time, don't cut yourself, okay? And then we will take you to the next step. All right, look at this bowl. I mean, seriously, that's a lot of, Broccoli, a lot of cauliflower. That's all getting mixed together. I'm gonna need a big, huge bowl. I may have to put a little extra mayo and a little extra sour cream in the mix because, well, I don't know. That's just, they'd ask, the recipe asked for one head of broccoli, one head of cauliflower, and I think I've kind of guesstimated with the bag of broccoli that's about one head. It's almost about two thirds of the bag. This is one head of cauliflower. So, I really hope this recipe is good because we're gonna have a lot of this salad. Okay guys, look how big this bowl is. You know, I'm probably, I'm doing fried chicken this Wednesday for Bible study, so I'm probably bringing this salad too. And if anybody wants to try it, they can. Unless it sucks, 
then I'm never bringing it to Bible study. So <laughs> Bible study is like my little guinea pigs. I love them. They're so awesome. All right, so let's put the broccoli in there. Okay. Cauliflower. Just want to show you, that's kind of like the pieces you want. Enough where I can pop that in my mouth and I'm good. Okay. Let's get that mixed up first because that's can be hard to mix later. Well, my hands are washed, but you should probably want to use a spoon to mix it all up. Make sure you get a nice big mixing bowl because like I said, I probably made too much. So we'll check it out. Okay. And the next thing is going to be sour cream, mayonnaise, and cheese. I'm almost tempted. My mom always dropped a little bit of vinegar in her salads and it made it a little bit tangier, a little more, uh, made the vegetables brighter. So I'm kind of tempted on getting some vinegar and dropping some in there. All right, let's move this out of the way. Don't forget our half pound of bacon all cooked and chopped. We'll be using that in a minute. So since this bowl's already dirty, it's got cauliflower crumbs in it. I'm just gonna throw the cheese in there. Throw my sour cream in there. I don't know why I threw the cheese in there. I, just, I was only supposed to mix the sour cream and mayonnaise together, but oh well, whatever. Throw that in there. Should I throw the bacon in there too? Yeah, let's do that. Get our bacon in there. There we go. Okay. We're going to mix everything really good. So we got cheese and bacon, mayonnaise and sour cream. The only thing we're missing is probably Greek yogurt. You could also use Greek yogurt in this recipe. That'd be good. Make sure we get it all nice and Nice and good. See, it's all mixed up. I'm going to plop that on top of everything. I think I need to get a food glove. Hang on a second. Here's the ghetto part. My wife hid my food gloves. I don't know where they are. Thank you, honey. She's at work right now. So I'm going to mix it like this. Mix with a bag. Okay. going to use that. A bag is a food glove. Okay. So let's get all this in there. Oh my goodness. Scrape it all out. All right. So this is my food glove. How ghetto is that, huh? You do what you gotta do. And you're gonna take this and mix it all in. Mix the bacon in. Mix the mayonnaise in. Just scooping and pushing, scooping and push them. You know, it's funny, we have a few members in our Bible study that are joining us. And they're not used to me bringing food from the show. I almost forgot, just a small pinch of salt. Just washed my hands, so it's all good. A little bit of salt. And then, pinch pepper. Come on, pepper. Why are you being like that? Here we go. Love pepper in salads. Totally brings out the flavor. Okay. Then we're going to mix this up again. Alright guys, last step. We've mixed it. We've sauced it. We got everything. All the dressing spread around. Salt, pepper. It asks to put some sugar in to your salad. I'm not putting sugar in, I'm using Splenda. You can use sugar, the recipe's down below, but I'm using a sweetener because I don't want any sugar. So you can leave it out. You can use agave syrup and mix it in. You can do whatever you wanna do. Uh, Truvia, you wanna do uh, Stevia, you wanna do Splenda like I'm doing, whatever works for you. But this is supposed to be a sweet salad. So we're going to gently sprinkle this on our salad. And give this a mix one more time. Oh, 
Well, this is going to be interesting, huh? See if Bible study likes it, huh? So let's give this a try. I just want to thank the sponsor of this episode, Dot Store. I got Dot Store. I use it for all my stuff that you can purchase, merchandise, Amazon gifts, barbecues, uh, pellets, and all that good stuff. So check out Dot Store, link down below, $1.99. You can get your own web address, okay? All right, you guys, so let's give this a try. Here we go. Okay, guys, you got to use some sort of sweetener. I don't care if you use honey, whatever your choice of sweetener is. The Splenda, making this a sweet salad, tastes even better, of course. Or you can leave it out, but this sweet broccoli, cauliflower, cheese, bacon, mm, this is such a refreshing salad. I'm going to be making this in the spring. This is exciting. Try this out. Let me know what you think, all right? I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.